Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look again at loans, but instead of paying them off with annual payments, we're going to be paying them off in monthly payments. And that's actually a much more realistic scenario. Most of the time when you borrow money for a car or a home or a small business loan, you're actually going to be making monthly payments. And those monthly payments almost always are going to happen at the end of the month. So let's look at a car, something that probably a lot of you are familiar with. We're going to look at financing most of a 2013 Civic. So Honda right now is offering 0.9% financing for 24 months. And we're going to try to figure out what our monthly payment is going to be and how much interest we're going to pay over the life of the loan. We'll assume that we're going to pay $22,715 for the car and we're going to put $4,000 down. So let's get started. The amount that we're going to pay for the car, the car price is $22,715. When we make a down payment of $4,000, we are going to borrow the rest of it, or $18,715. That's the amount of our loan. Our interest rate is 0.9% per year, right, for 24 months. So this is the tricky part. Our interest rate is expressed in annual terms, 0.9% per year, but we're going to make monthly payments. So when we enter our payment formula to calculate our monthly payment, we're going to need to make a small adjustment. Otherwise, Excel is going to think that we're going to pay 0.9% in interest per month, which is going to make our payments really, really high. So our monthly payment is going to be equal, using that payment function, to our 9%, I'm sorry, 0.9% interest rate but we don't accrue that much interest every month. We accrue that much interest every year. So every month, we accrue one twelfth of that, otherwise known as B12, our interest rate, divided by 12. So we're gonna enter it as a number that Excel will calculate monthly. We're only paying that one twelfth of that each month. Our number of periods is 24 months, and our present value the amount that we're borrowing is $18,715. Entered as a negative number so that our payment comes out positive. So it's going to be $787.12. I'm going to switch this because see how it says that my number of months is $24? I'm going to enter that as general and it's going to shift back. And also I'm going to tap that as currency so it looks like it's the same format. All right. So we're going to need to make monthly payments of $787.12. I'm going to leave those two decimals in order to pay this loan off in 24 months. I'm going to create my amortization table. Just how I do it, I'm going to enter the headings. And that means that will show you exactly how I format it because I've had a few questions. So we're going to start normally when, well, with the last example we did years, but we're going to do months, right? Amount owed at the beginning of the month, monthly payment, amount of the payment that goes to interest, and the amount of the payment that goes toward the principal. All right, so when I entered it first, it looks like this big, long line. So I highlight my whole row by clicking on the number 17, and I go to Wrap Text, and Wrap Text is in the same spot on my PC as it is on my Mac, so it should be easy to find. And there it goes, it wraps it, and it automatically lengthens the cell length. If it doesn't automatically lengthen it, for instance, it comes out looking like this, which sometimes it will, it doesn't mean that it didn't work. It just means that you can't see most of it. And sometimes that can be a pain. All right, so there we go. I click again on that 17 so that the whole row is highlighted. And I say that I'd like to center those cells. And I say that I'd like them in bold. Pardon me. There we go. So we need to do 24 months.
So doing 24 months on an Excel spreadsheet like this is going to require some scrolling. So you're going to need to bear with me. All right. So I can fit actually most of it, everything I need within one screenshot. So I'm not going to need to do any more scrolling. All right. So at the beginning of the month, I'm going to owe, or you're going to owe, $18,715. Each month, you're going to make a payment of $787.12. I give it an absolute reference so that I can drag my formula down and I don't get a wonky answer. Then I have to pay a certain amount of interest, right? So each month, I'm going to pay interest on the amount that I owe at the beginning of the month. So my interest amount is going to be 18,715 multiplied by 1 12th of my annual interest rate. That's because that annual interest rate is what accused, accrues per year. So we can say that our monthly interest is going to be the amount that we owed at the beginning of the month multiplied by our monthly interest rate, which is 1 12th of our annual interest rate. So $14 of that payment went toward interest. It's kind of a bleak picture, isn't it? And then the amount that goes toward principal is our monthly payment minus our interest payment. So we've paid off $773.09 of that loan. At the beginning of month two, I'm going to owe the 18715 that I owed at the beginning of the previous month minus the $773 that we paid off. Our monthly payment, $787.12 with an absolute reference. And our interest payment is going to be equal to what we owed at the beginning multiplied by 1 12th of our annual interest rate. Then, the amount that goes toward paying off our principal is going to be equal to the money that we paid, that 787, minus what we're paying the bank to borrow the money. So we're going to be able to reduce our loan balance by $773.67. So let's go a little more quickly now. If we owed $17,941.91 at the beginning of the month, and we paid off $773 with our payment, we can just ask Excel to do the rest of this for us. And to do that, when we've got a formula or a, a chart or a table, I guess this is, where we've got a staggered answer, right? The beginning of this answer, the beginning of this row is dependent on the end of this row. We drag ourselves down in two steps. First, we drag down this row, and then we highlight all of that row. And we double click in that corner, and it fills in our entire piece. All right, I'm going to format this so that it's a little bit easier to read. I'm going to get rid of those cents, and that's just going to... Well, actually, no, that looks fine. All right, so a couple of things I want you to see. First is that as we pay off the loan going from month one to month 24 throughout those two years, our monthly interest that we pay decreases. And the reason for that is that as we pay off principal, little by little, the amount that we owe decreases. In the last month, the amount that we owe at the beginning of the month is exactly equal to the portion of our payment that goes toward principal. So what that means is if we were to add a 25th month, we're going to start off owing nothing. And that lets us know that our amortization table worked, right? So when you do an amortization table and you're wondering, did it work? You've got this way to check it. Look that the amount that you owe each month should decline. The amount of interest that you owe each month should also decline, where the amount that goes toward paying off your loan is going to increase, right? And then in the last month, the amount owed at the beginning of the month and the amount that goes toward principal is going to be equal. So that at the beginning of the next month, the 25th month, the month after you pay off your loan, the first month where you don't make a payment, right? You don't have to do that because what you owe is zero. 
So that's what you do. So we used Excel's function, payment function to calculate the monthly payment that we make on a loan. And we do that paying attention to make sure that our annual interest rate is divided by 12 to turn it into a monthly interest rate. And then create, we created our amortization table to make sure that it paid it off at the end of 24 months. And the purpose of that is a double check, but also to let us see where our money goes. So the last thing that I want to do is to calculate for us our total interest paid. How much interest are you going to need to pay over the life of the loan? And I'm going to do that using Excel's sum function. And over those two years, the 24 months, we're going to pay $175.96 in interest. And that is not bad. That is what we get when we have a 0.9% annual interest rate. That's pretty good. All right. Hope that was helpful. Good luck calculating, and I'll see you next time.